as the title to this video applies, uh, I'm just going to be talking about like the the downside of other than the physical part of a ACL tear. I feel like a lot of people go into it just like me. I went into it saying, all right, I'm going to do all this. I'm going to do all of that. I'm going to use all my time wisely and uh, I'm going to grow from this. And I'm not saying I haven't grown from this injury. I just want to clear some things up for people who are going into surgery for ACL meniscus or just ACL or any surgery in general. Uh, I just want to clear up some confusion that some people might have. I injury on uh, September 10th, uh, 2022, and I had surgery November 3rd. So there was a huge gap in between. So to get this confusion out of the way, it's not, when they say nine months, it's nine months post-surgery. Um, some doctors will refuse to give you surgery if you don't wait a certain amount of time. I had to wait till I got my full range of motion back and uh, my full strength, like not stra a straightening to back to zero degrees. And uh, I feel like a lot of people are like, all right, I'll be back in nine months. Like you get, you tear your ACL, you get surgery the next day. It's not like that. You've got to build up. It's a lot of mental barriers you're going to go through. You start off with like the injury and then you're going to build up to finally getting back all of your range of motion, which that's what happened to me. I got all my range of motion back and the straightening of my leg was back. And honestly, I walked into surgery at eight o'clock and I was like, why am I doing this surgery? It just feels so pointless. So I just want to clear that up. It's going to be longer than nine months for most people, obviously. And one thing is you don't want to rush it back. Another thing is I left off on my two week update video. I'm now at eight weeks. And um, all I can say is I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would be doing. Um, I'm back to walking without the crutches or nothing. I'm sitting down right now, but I do have my leg brace on. It's just a process, really. Um, there's no set time for everybody. I know a lot of articles will say like, oh, six weeks you'll start walking again, eight weeks you'll start walking again. Different doctors have, and difficult, different physical therapists have different protocols. Mine was a little longer because it's icy out and I don't need to be wearing my brace, but the six to eight week mark is the highest uh, chance of retear rate. So I'd rather just stay safe and wear my brace. Going into the surgery, I thought it was really going to be like pretty easy to bounce back from this, but it's definitely physical pain, yes, but it's more of a mental gap knowing that like you were so high up and now you have to build your way back up, I guess, but you can either use it as two ways. You can either use it as motivation to get back even stronger and make sure it never happens again, or you can keep letting it haunt you and end up quite frankly never getting back to 100% again. For everyone keeping like keeping updated with my uh with how I'm doing with football, I finished up my year. I still have my four years left of eligibility, but I, I possibly will not make it back in time for uh, my fall season, which does suck a lot, but I think I'll be back in the spring, definitely 100% back in the spring, and we'll see where we go from there. I might walk on out of place. I might, we never know. We'll see what happens. Also, my plans moving forward is to just really uh, manage my time and management uh that's what i've been really lacking with and that's why i haven't been providing a lot of uh youtube videos is because i use my time very poorly and i feel like the mo the lack of motivation i had when i couldn't walk took over basically everything so i want to say expect more videos because i've got my tripod i got my mic and i'm ready to just make as much videos as i can uh anything that anyone wants to see if it's with my acl if it's with anything in my life just let me know i want to make this like a family i want to make this like a, a like a job i guess i want to like make this my business and i want you guys to help me out i want the support from everybody and i want to give that support back to you guys i thank everyone for the support i mean for the past i think i have four videos i've gotten up to 600 600 subscribers and i thank everybody for that and uh i'm looking to build this very very well so if this page sounds interesting to you if it doesn't then please hit the like and please subscribe. I want to build something great. Also, I don't know if what you guys want, but I don't know if I should invest some time in like make an intro and an outro. Um, please let me know if that's what you want to see. This is all going to be like raw uncut footage. This video was kind of just getting this message out there. Um, I need to work on my editing skills for the future. So please just any tips you guys have, please leave them in the comments. I thank everyone for watching this video and uh, I will be back soon. So see you guys.